Hello there people, welcome back to Fusion for 60 on my computer, this is Christian and in front of us we have something like looks very close to Dodecohedron the Dodecohedron has pentagon faces and there are 12 of those I previously made platonic solids in a bit of different ways so this is a question for Facebook about making the green part making a sphere that's cut by a dodecahedron and of course the bodies line up here you can see i made just two of these and then i made some red frames inside here so yeah but we're gonna focus on making the green part here the green body that's one sphere section of the dodecahedron i will also pattern it just to have a look at that but anyway I'm going to jump over to an empty design, start by creating a component. This will most probably be used in some type of uh, assembly with more parts. Dodecahedron. And I might even call it section because I'm going to make one section or one face. Open up our browser so we have thing compartmentalized and I'm going to start by creating a sketch. Now this will be a bit confusing. I'm going to create a sketch from the front. That's not confusing. The sketch itself might be a bit confusing. It's based on geometry of a dodecahedron, which I have played around with a bit too much. Uh, polygon, circumscribe polygon. We will need a pentagon to start with. So we're going to do polygon, draw out. It always starts like a hexagon, so tab over five sides and by mistake i made as normal lines i'm going to mark all of it turn it into construction geometry i don't want the profiles flashing around horizontal vertical make this line vertical and now we're going to do some lines make sure we have construction lines activated so i'm going to start from the midpoint of the pentagon I'm going to go straight out i'm going to try to use now you can see a little blue square because i want the perpendicular constraint so i'm going to click here i'm going to go down make sure i get the perpendicular constraint once again I'm going to move up i'm going to find this point here to help me with reference pull down you can see we get this little blue help line so we can click here and then go straight up so everything here is constrained with uh perpendicular constraints gonna make one line from here and go straight down until we hit this line you notice i got a white dot here i don't know why fusion sometimes does this a white dot is an end point of a line gonna hit escape if i take this line you can see i can drag it around i want this point to be connected to this you can do it a couple of different ways an easy way here is just to use the extend command select this line and fusion will extend the line and add the coincident constraint i think if you move a point over you can see it there that's the coincident constraint and we have no more white dots and now uh, sorry me for rambling around we have now have like the basic lines now i'd like to add uh, more constraints we added the vertical here we're going to do some equal constraints between this line here and this line here of course turning this shape here into a square going to do midpoint between this edge of a, of a pentagon and this line here uh, this will constrain this shape to itself and the last thing i'm going to do we're going to take this line and attach it to the midpoint uh, use the midpoint constraint to attach it to the region point so this is going to be our center point of the ending dodecahedron everything works now we should be able to drag the sketch back and forth that's good we now add the sphere shape we do a circle no more construction geometry we're going to start from the region point and up to this point do a line we're going to do revolve later so i need an axis or i need a split for profile in two make this coincident to here Still, we haven't added any dimensions, but we have a sketch that is constrained to itself, so everything is follow along. Do not trim any lines here. If you start trimming or other things, the sketch will uh, uh, most probably implode and die. D for dimension. We need to do, uh, decide, decide what we call it. Yeah, we need to set the diameter of the sphere. So this is going to be the diameter of our finite sphere. Let's start with something useful like 120 millimeters, like that, and we can open our sketch and see we have a fully defined sketch. We can't move anything with the constraints we have done and this dimension here. This sketch is going nowhere. So we're gonna finish sketch. We need a, a offset plane. We're gonna select uh, the what's called a XY plane. That's one here. 
distance. We're going to do two objects and select the little endpoint evil lines or the center point of Dorgahedon. Gonna hit OK. Gonna create a sketch. We can select the profile of the plane out here. I've noticed something is very easy to do by mistake. Click some other plane. So I'm gonna select the plane here, like that. Gonna do create polygon, circumscribe polygon. We have a region point here. So I'm gonna click here, drag out. Uh, it was in the correct position. We'll save that to five sides. We get a pentagon. Slightly tilt our uh, design over. Hit for project we need this point here so we out here or this line here you can choose whichever you want i'm going to do the line i'm going to do a coincident constraint between one vertex of the pentagon and this point and once again we have a fully constrained sketch for uh, useful we might want to name this so uh, geometry that's the geometry and that is our pentagon profile like that so we know what things are so we have now created our pentagon here and we have prepared our sphere so what you're going to do now we're going to do a loft you can select it up here we go select our pentagon and we're going to select our midpoint or the center of origin point that's going to be a center of everything going to hit ok we're going to do a revolve, select the profile down here, around this axis. Of course, if Fusion always likes to cut things, but that's wrong. We want to do an intersection. Going to hit OK. Uh, we have a lot of messy sketches, so I'm going to hide the sketch for now. And we're going to do a shell command. We're going to select all the five flat faces here, not touching our square faces on top. Let's give this... Did I select? Oh, no, four. Five, it's supposed to be five phases over here. That's good. And the thickness, let's do it two millimeters. So that will preserve our outside sphere face with a two millimeter thickness. Gonna hit OK. Go back to our top. So basically, we have done what we wanted to do. We now have one of these. But of course, you want to check did we do this correctly? So let's do. Where are you, my little lovely circular pattern? Oh, I'm tired. S on the keyboard. Uh, you can type in circular pattern and find circular pattern. In this case, you're going to do it of components because I want to touch that. Select that component. Select axis. We're going to select the edge out here. We need a quantity of three. Yes, please. But I don't need all of them. So I'm going to do suppression and hide this one. Going to hit OK. Now I want to repeat circular pattern. So I'm going to hold down the right clip key, right uh, mouse button. Do repeat. Select component, do this component, what axis, in this case we're going to do the z-axis, going to do five of them, and we can see things are lining up nicely. Once again, we're going to do a circular pattern, just right mouse button and drag upwards, and you re uh, repeat the last uh, feature you did, or last thing you did. Select all components, the axis is going to be, in this case, the green one. This, this you need to do some testing sometimes, sometimes it's red, sometimes it's green. If you do the sketch from the front, it will be the green y-axis, and you need to do two. And I'm going to hit OK. And by that, we have now made a bunch of components. If you will combine this, of course, they will uh, fuse together into a sphere, but here are the five parts. They are the same. Uh, section analysis like that. Very flip it. So we'll have a look. So here they are. They are lining very nicely. And we can move back and forth and have a look at them. So that's how I would make uh, the outside round parts for uh, a sphere cut with the Dordok Hidden. So this is aimed at the Facebook question. But I hope some other of you will find this video useful. With that said, take care. Stay around. And goodbye.